Welcome everyone to the Moisky News for April 7th, 2020. Today I'd like to talk about Boris Johnson, who on Sunday evening, as a precaution, because he had a nagging, gnawing symptom that was rather persistent, a temperature, that had kept him in quarantine beyond his original quarantine, let's say, deadline, has been taken to hospital. Not by ambulance. Doctors had basically looked at him during a video conference on Zoom and determined this to be needed. So who is in charge at the moment? The answer is the Prime Minister. But the Foreign Secretary will chair the coronavirus meetings that happened yesterday. The Prime Minister had, according to Dominic Raab, received ministerial paperwork delivered to him and was in good spirits at the time. It should be noted, Boris did put out a tweet on this. And Boris did, upon arriving at the hospital, require oxygen treatment. Since this has happened, there is a rather interesting public outcry. Let's go with Twitter, because it's always the best place to go and see the true nature of humanity, apparently. Every politician has wished him well, and quite a large number of public have too. I saw Jeremy Corbyn's because I was looking at statements of his for yesterday's video, and I noticed under his, people were wishing Boris die, which I found to be incredibly discourteous. I don't care what your political beliefs are, I really don't. I will not wish your death, and nor should anyone it shows the level of, let's go with maturity, with those who are involved in politics, if that's what you think should happen to someone you disagree with. It is petty-minded, pathetic, and you should be doing better. At this point, it's trite and trash, and makes you look trite and trash. So to those who wish death upon any politician or anyone in general for having this particular affliction, get help. You have something wrong, and there are pills for it. There are questions that have cropped up, for example, why there's no deputy prime minister. Because we have had one before, but the Conservatives don't have one. The last time we had one was Nick Clegg. That was five years ago. I don't think he wants to come back to politics to work for the Conservatives when he is a, air quotes, liberal Democrat. Therefore, should the prime minister be unfit or unable to perform his duties... It falls to one of three people. That would be Dominic Raab as Foreign Secretary, Michael Gove the Sneck, or, because of his relevance with regards to what he is dealing with, Matt Hancock, who has a number of issues of his own right now, most notably keeping his job. Because people love hindsight so much, many have said that Boris has risked not only himself but his own nation, his cabinet, his staff, by continuing to work cause... I firmly believe he was leading by example, and therefore doing it because he believed it was the right thing to do, which I actually think it was. But then now we come to the consequences of that. Boris Johnson has been moved to a new unit within the St Thomas Hospital because his symptoms have worsened. He's now in intensive care. A spokesman for Number 10 did say that the Prime Minister has been under the care of doctors at St Thomas's Hospital in London after being admitted with persistent symptoms of coronavirus. Over the course of Monday afternoon, the condition of the Prime Minister has worsened, and on the advice of his medical team, he has been moved to the intensive care unit at the hospital. So, Dominic Raab from this moment on will chair the government's daily COVID-19 meetings, but it is still likely, because of how good he is, let's say, on the stage, Michael Gove will also deputise in certain aspects. One must have absolute faith in medical practitioners and, of course, doctors and all the other people involved that our Prime Minister will make a full recovery. People may not like him because he's Boris and he says a lot of stupid things, but he is still the leader of our nation. And much like any person that has been affected by this horrible disease, we have to be behind them to support them. That is, after all, the right thing to do. If you don't want to, by all means be lazy. It's not a compulsory thing after all, but this is a big concern that our leader has been taken down. And if opposition, those who are so ideologically opposed to him, can show a sense of humanity, why don't you follow their example, which is absolutely gracious and kind? Hell, in the context of Jeremy Corbyn's, I find it fascinating that his followers lack the one thing he is most known for, and that is his humanity. I feel like if I uh, keep talking about this, I'm going to get really cross because it actually bugs me 
how utterly insensitive people are when it comes to things like this, because my politics are more important than lives? Right. Of course it is. Thank you.